Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and Microsoft Flight Sim where I intend to check out how the sim renders Typhoon Mawar which is an extremely strong storm that is currently barreling down on the Philippines. Uh, its outer arms are probably spewing some uh, precipitation on the Philippines but the eye has not reached yet. It has passed Guam and hopefully everybody is alright. We will take off from Guam and it's quite a long flight out to the hurricane. Uh, when it gets closer to the Philippines, I'll probably take off from the Philippines and check it out. But I wanted to see how Guam was after the uh, update because we had a world update where they added a whole bunch of Pacific Islands and I want to see the, uh, the current state of Guam with the new scenery. So we'll check out the scenery as well on our way out to the hurricane. It's a fairly long flight as you can see. I'm going to take the F-16 so that I can do it quickly enough. And as you can see, even though I've fully fueled it, the range does not seem to be enough to get to the Philippines. We'll see if that turns out to be correct or not. Uh, so we're not live time, but we are, of course, uh, live weather. So, well, uh, I want live weather, but not live time. Looking at latest reports, it seems like the typhoon has weakened somewhat. Uh, it is not quite as intense as it was before and it is also aiming north so the center of it probably won't hit the Philippines at least that's what the current forecast look like uh, the cone seems to have it going uh, to the east of Taiwan and here is the SC designs F-16 with my custom livery the skies around here are clear now uh, well, the hurricane is like a thousand nautical miles to the west, so that's not quite a surprise. For some reason, the SC Designs F-16 keeps having G-Limit on me, no matter what. I don't know, maybe there's another mod interfering. This plane does have some weird stuff going on as far as its high altitude performance. Oh, we've got some lag here. Okay, but we're off. in that it can go to extremely high altitudes and accelerate but we won't be pushing it like that okay well let's just take a look at Guam you can see some a tower and sort of resort thing over there they haven't done photogrammetry at all just a few buildings I mean, I would assume photogrammetry for Guam would be possible, but those are nice buildings, though. You know, something around here. Uh, that might be a smaller site that I didn't quite understand. Alright, anyway, let's get on to our trip across to the hurricane. Of course, our waypoint is just sort of a general thing. We're going to have to figure out exactly where the eye is. The F-16 is of course not the ideal plane for this. I would rather be flying the DC-6 with the NOAA livery or anything with a NOAA livery. But, or some sort of, you know, scientific research livery would do. But, those planes are too slow. <laughs> I'm not going to take a four hour flight for this hurricane, I think. I want to go a little bit fast, so we'll deal with it like this. Even though I loaded the conformal tanks, it doesn't seem to have those on. I think we should probably just punch it right now, just so that we can get higher and more efficient. I mean, for a little while we won't be as efficient. I don't think it gave me my full fuel load. Yeah, even though it, in the menu I cited my full fuel load, it knocked me down back, so uh, apologies for that. I'm adding the full fuel back in. It still didn't show my conformal tanks though. I guess that's still a issue. I thought they had fixed that. I've got sort of a doubling of the Mach indicator on the HUD. It does make me think that there's some mod that's interfering with it. Up we go. Obviously when we try to gauge the hurricane, we'll have to dip back down 
to fairly low levels. Well, radar altitude says 55,000 feet, but uh, tape says, I mean, uh, radar altitude is 56,000 feet, but tape says 54. Well, we need more. It seems like very high pressure. I mean, we are over the ocean, so presumably it's sea level down there. Unless the radar altitude is to the bottom of the sea. It seems a bit anomalous. This says 61,600. So, and, but it says the pressure is 29,000, uh, sorry, 29.83. So, I mean, it's not because of the pressure. The dials are just reading wrong. The pressure should be lower. Okay, so it says on that map that we have 29.83 inch or uh, hectopascals. I think they, it, it's got something wrong because that's definitely inches of mercury down below and hectopascals up above, but um, whatever. Anyway, uh, 29.83, everything's got a math error these days. Uh, that altitude agrees with the radar altitude on the HUD. But for some reason, the tape is 3,000 off. 3,000 feet off. So we'll just have to go for the radar altitude. I don't know why the tape is 3,000 feet off. We are there. Wind's currently just 26 knots against us. But we are not exactly in the tough part of the hurricane anyway. We are currently going nearly 1,200 knots and Mach 2.1. Taking a look at reports from Guam, uh, it didn't get the worst of it, but there was still quite a bit of damage decided to go up to 65,000 feet probably higher than that uh, it says 68,000 I was trying not to do the pushing this beyond its normal limits thing but we are getting better fuel efficiency up here so I'll just I'll keep it below 70,000 I'm sure that's fair uh, I'm sure that's realistic I mean it's the 100,000 plus that's probably not realistic for the F-16 uh, but right about here is probably okay Okay, we're about 480 nautical miles away from what I thought was the heart of the storm on the map. And about 23 minutes away. I don't know why it's waypoint 5. Oh, right, because of all the sites that I had plotted out. It is waypoint 5. And we've got more clouds here. I mean, I don't know how big exactly the storm is. Is 480 nautical miles, like at the outer arm of the storm or not i haven't really checked that i don't think so i think it wouldn't be this far out but you know it does look like an arm and then a gap and then another arm kind of thing and this well that's a solid bunch of clouds so maybe it is part of the storm i have wanted to do more of these sort of current event flights Seems like an interesting sort of thing to do to fly around places that are in the news. I don't know if that'll be of interest to people. Mach 2.25 by the way. Yep, solid cloud behind us and all around. We are still 365 nautical miles from what I thought was the eye of the storm. 17 minutes at Mach 2. Well, there is a gap here. There's another gap over there. I'm basically keeping an eye out for an eye. <laughs> um, this doesn't strike me as an eye, but we have to keep into consideration the fact that the sim might not render it like perfectly perfectly. But we're still... 214 nautical miles away from where I thought it would be. So... But I think we should probably start descending and see what kind of... Maybe that over there on the horizon is... 
where we want to go. But that's not where I plotted. I plotted in this setting. I mean, this is a remarkably clear spot here. I'll give it that. This isn't an eye, it's doing a wonderful eye impersonation. Also would expect a lot more gusting, which means that the wind would be more variable and go up and down quite a lot more. Well, saw some lightning over there. That's a pretty tall cloud. But, and winds are picking up here. Then back on track. We're still 115 nautical miles out. So maybe that big cloud mat earlier was not associated with the storm? I'm not sure. Okay, going lower. Doesn't look like we're going to get a very convincing cloud cover for the typhoon. But we seem to be getting the winds. Okay, hanging around 3,000 feet. Things are getting more formidable. We just had a little strike of lightning there. 60 nautical miles from my originally plotted location of the eye. We've gotten up to 75 knots, 75 knots there on the wind speeds. Of course, not so noticeable in the F-16 when we're cruising at 500 knots. By the way, I think it's a feature, not necessarily a bug of HUDs, that they tend to go sideways when there's high winds, like it's visualizing the fact that you're being pushed to one side, I don't know. It seems to coincide with the wind sometimes. And the fact that we have a crosswind that's 88 knots is basically what is pushing the HUD image to one side. It's weird. Okay, uh, the pressure is probably very different, so I need to see our actual altitude here. 98 knots now. And the pressure is 977 only though. Not the lowest I've ever seen. We are 40 nautical miles away from the original plot location of the eye. We are looking at a 100 knot crosswind right now. It's pretty consistent though. It's pushing us off to one side. And so we're not at the eye yet. Uh, close to the eye, the wind direction will change dramatically. 105 knots. Take a look outside. This is what it looks like around here. The seas appear tumultuous. We are approaching the mark uh, 24 knot nautical miles away. 100 knot winds would be 115 miles an hour. Okay, well this might be the eye, it's the right location. And we see the wind speed dropping dramatically here. If we cross the eye and the wind direction changes, then we'll know. And then we'll circle around it. probably at lower altitude. Let me see... right here 948 on the millibars. Gotta recalibrate the altimeter. It seems like a match now. Down here if you set the barometric pressure correctly it reads the correct altitude on the tape. It's at higher altitudes when there's a bigger discrepancy. Only a 50 knot wind down, uh, in the eye here right now. 
Oh, just 25 knots now. Yeah, definitely I-ish. Look at that. And the wind direction has changed. So we're going to expect to get a wall of wind soon, though. I, I think the front end of the storm should have faster winds. I forget. I think so. When it gets to higher latitudes, it'll hit more westerly winds and then they'll be pushed more northward so it'll tend towards the Ryukyu Islands and stuff like that okay yeah we are having a pickup in wind velocity and I'll try and get low here let me keep the other numbers here just for safety's sake nothing much to look at out here Okay, I uh, guess, whoa, 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 150, 160, 170 knots? That was a pretty strong gust right there. Um, and then suddenly it dipped down. I don't know if that was a directional thing. Oh. getting pretty low here. This is about where the strongest winds would be. When it's uh, in contact with the surface, that slows the winds down. So just a little bit higher than that. Got close to 120 knots there. Hanging out pretty close to 100 knots all the way around. There's a gust above 120 knots. Well, I certainly haven't seen a 170 knot wind gust at these levels before. That was a first. Ooh, there's another one. Whoa, almost 180 there. And ooh, over 200 it spiked there. That's crazy. I think I'm pretty satisfied uh, that it is a big powerful storm. I have uh, seen wind speeds I have not seen in this sim before. I mean, at these altitudes. At high altitudes with the jet stream and all, that's a different story. But the storm-related high wind speeds. Um, once it gets closer to other airports, I'll fly some of the slower planes to check it out. But yeah, you notice that the HUD displacement is in the opposite direction because the wind is blowing us from the opposite side now. So the HUD displacement seems to be associated with the wind direction. Even at uh, 15,000 feet, we've got a lot of rain. Let's get out of this thing. Still clouds all around. 24,000 feet. Okay, sort of a break in the clouds, but we're at 33,000 feet in climbing. Uh, there's some sort of frosting on the windshield? doesn't look particularly good, to be honest. Whatever is going on with the windshield doesn't look particularly good. We'll accelerate here. Obviously, I've been pushing it to the limits. Can't see the eye anywhere. It's once again a solid bunch of clouds, but I'm pretty confident that this is a solid bunch of clouds associated with the storm. 
We are about 500 nautical miles away from Manila. I was hoping to get a look at the eye from a higher vantage point, but our fuel is a little bit scrapped. I do want to make sure that we can land at Manila, so. It's, uh, it's just a big cloud <laughs> here. So it's like, like on the other side, except on the other side it was further out and then we had gaps. Um, here is just one big cloud right now. I guess there's a mild gap. Well, not exactly a gap, but a thin part there. This is about 60 nautical miles away from the eye. Oh, you can see my location on the map. I mean, again, adjust for the fact that the projection's a little bit weird. But at that scale, it's probably not a big deal. And this is what we're looking at. Again, it's just a sim. Not necessarily any indication of how the storm is in real life. But it's trying its best. Just to note, this F-16 has not been updated since January, and I do have the latest version. This is the latest version, version 1.0.2. So, as it performs, and with the conformal fuel tank issue, since those don't show up, it is how it is. But I think it is time to descend, as we seem to be approaching the Philippines here. So, down we go. I don't believe they've added anything to the Philippines as far as sites are concerned, points of interest. And that's a shame. I didn't see anything on the map. There is some payware scenery for Manila, but I do not have that. Oh, well, that looks like the heart of Manila over there, maybe? But again, no special scenery here. It is just how it looks in stock in the game right now. Well, hopefully at some point they'll add some points of interest here. Much of Asia has been waiting for quite a while. That's a, there is one interestingly shaped building there. But these are interestingly shaped. They must be custom. Yeah, there, there's some that are definitely custom right there. So maybe they do have some. I just didn't see them. Okay, we see the airport over there, and it is time to land, so I'll line up. For reasons I don't understand, the attitude indication on the HUD is not right. It's tilted to the right permanently right now. It's sort of stuck. At least I can see the horizon on the left display down there. Okay, well, obviously coming in a little bit off here, <laughs> but all right. Okay. And touchdown. All right, we made it from Guam to Manila with a check out of the typhoon along the way. And I'll wrap it up here as I taxi in. Hopefully everybody will stay safe. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.